Yeah, I mean, Deshaun is, is like a coach on the field. Um, you know, not many quarterbacks, especially early in their career, have the um, ability to be able to do that. And uh, I mean, he's great in the meeting room, uh, Coach Streeter. I mean, and that's the other thing that you forget. You got Brandon Streeter, who's done a really good job, has been a coordinator, who's sitting in the room with him every day as they go through. So, and, uh, you know, and the way our offense is built, you know, there's there's checks at certain times. It's very uh, well defined when we need to change something. And, and Tony does a great job uh, with the quarterbacks and the backs uh, as far as whenever we see certain blitzes being able to check and, and, and be able to get that relayed down to the field. And uh, But when your quarterback can do it on his own, uh, it allows you to be a little bit faster and maybe does not give the defense time to check out of their defense. So. I think that's something Deshaun did a little bit last year, and I think he'll be able to do even more this year. How is a lot of you come to you guys 15 years ago when you were players and said, you're going to be working together one day and running the Clemson offense? Could you imagine that at that time? I'd say no, because my initial plan was to go to work as an engineer. Uh, when, I was graduate, when I graduated from school, coaching wasn't in my future. You know, there were some things that happened along the way that opened some doors that got me into the profession. Uh, but if you would have told me that 15 years ago and said that Jeff was going to be the guy that I was going to be working with, I'd say, man, let's go do it uh, because of that relationship. And again, uh, it goes back to the relationship that we have. I think we got a lot of the same values outside of football, um, you know, a lot of the same values inside of football. Uh, and But at the end of the day, we're both Clemson Tigers, and we understand that it's about these young people in the program. We just want to take pride in doing our best. Uh, working together to help these young men be successful. Because at the end of the day, that's what it's about. It's not about me, uh, and Jeff will tell you the same. It's not about Jeff. It's about this offense, this university, and putting the best product on the field to be successful. Is there any lingering concern about Stanton's Yeah, he just has to has to work through it. Obviously, he's coming back from a, from a severe um, knee injury, it was an extensive surgery, uh, but he's working every day. There's no question about his mentality. Like I told you before, he's a warrior. Uh, he's going to do everything he needs to do. You just got to be smart with it um, and continue to, to to rehab it every day and, and make sure that we understand the load that we're putting on it um, and keeping track of that. Do you intend to use as much of that two deep and even three deep in some positions in this game? Well, I, I think Coach Sweeney's philosophy has always been that he wants to play the guys that deserve to play. In some years, at some positions, there's, you know, I know at the wide receiver position, some years I've had maybe five guys that fall in that category. and. This year, I feel like I have eight guys, just speaking from my position specifically. And, you know, offensive line is one where we feel like, you know, those young guys have done a really good job coming on. And, and um, you know, if, if there are opportunities, we'd love to see those guys get an opportunity to play. But, uh, you know, you have plans as coaches going into games. And then once you get into games, you just kind of have to see how everything goes, how the guys are responding. Um, but, you know, overall, philosophy wise, you know, we, fully support Coach Sweeney's philosophy that everyone that deserves to play, uh, you know, at the right time, you know, is going to get an opportunity to play. And some games dictate how much they get to play and, and how much they don't. But, you know, and I think also we, we rep a lot more guys in our practices than maybe most schools. You know, all the way up until last week, we had three groups repping all fall camp. And uh, I know a lot of places maybe just rep their first and second group. And uh, I, I know I can remember being a freshman here. I don't think I got one rep the entire fall camp. And, and now, you know, all the freshmen, they're getting reps on day one. And so I think that helps. And, you know, once they get a little bit of taste uh, in the game, I think it helps you because they stay more engaged throughout the, the week and practices and throughout the seasons. And then also it helps you from a depth standpoint because we know guys are going to get injured and uh, having an opportunity for somebody to step in for them that's already had some game experience is very beneficial.